expertise to the table. Shinjini Das, the go getter girl, has more. There's like three qualities, right, that you really want to pull out from millennials. So I am anxious to hear. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We have this argument about what's that age that millennials are, the age range. Yeah, that's a really good question. And it's interesting because on the younger side, you have from 18 to 35. I've even seen 37. Oh, so I, oh. I think it varies. Okay. I thought it was it's, like if you're born from 1983 to like 1990 something. Yeah, it's also millennials at heart. Oh, also okay. <laughs> does okay. well. All right, we're ready. We're taking notes. Okay. So three qualities millennials have to have. The first one is openness. I think the cultural environment now at work, it's changing, as in the expectations are changing, job responsibilities are changing. So millennials really have to be open to taking on new responsibilities, to doing more than their, you know, quote-unquote job description, because I think that's how they really get ahead at work. So this is the first one is openness. And I think this is great because it also, you know, is, is how do you be a go-getter in life, you know? is you have to be open to new experiences and open to new sort of adventures, right? So I think the first one is openness. The second one is vision. Millennials really need to have a vision for where they want their career to go. And I think you know this better. You go get our girls. Um, you really need to know where your career is going. I think depending... Are we talking about five years, ten years? Because uh, sometimes for young people, it's hard to imagine. Yeah, no, 10 years is a lot. I would agree. Yeah. I think when you're starting out, you're a young person. I would say five years is probably the max. Okay. You want to go maybe even start at one. <laughs> you know, okay. wh where do you want to be next year right, okay. uh, or next month? You know, okay. um, so I think that vision is really critical for number two. Okay. I think number three is really going to be about where do you want um, your personal qualities to align, you know, your core values. Like, make sure that your core values align with your companies, you know, because uh, if they don't, it's kind of difficult for you to thrive. I think one of the things for millennials, we're very goal oriented. And yeah. so for me, it was like I went to high school and then I went to college and mm -hmm. then I got my dream job. And then after that, it's like, now what? Now what? And so it's hard to be able to focus and, and try and see like the bigger picture uh, because my mom was like, well, then it's like you buy a house and it's you do all these other things. But we're very goal oriented. Yes. Right? Do you, do you think, do you find that? Absolutely. And I love that about us. I think that's super great. And I think where, where I want to emphasize more of that is, is strategic vision, right? So goals are great, but it's like, where, where do I want to be? And I think that's how I create my goals. So if you're talking to a millennial right now, mm -hmm. would you say, write things down, have a log, have a diary of what they want to do? Not just think about it and tell somebody. I could tell you and then it changes tomorrow. Right. Absolutely. I'm a big writer. Uh, I actually took a test. I'm a read and writer. Like, that's how I process information. Some people are auditory, some people are visual. So, what I mean, if you want to draw pictures, you draw pictures, yeah. you know, but whatever gets it in your head okay. so that you actually make that happen. Because I'm a go getter, I'm all about making it happen. Yeah, Not what about having... finding a mentor like Maybe. Tina? Yeah, it's a great point. I think with the workplace especially, I'm a big proponent of just going up to someone and saying, you know what, I really admire where you are. You know, not I need a mentor. I think that's kind of a, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, people are like, I'm really busy. I don't have right. time. So I think the, the way to approach it is I love what you're doing. I love where you are at. You know, I'd love to kind of bounce some questions off you and make it super casual. I think that's what I've done. I'm like, hey, can I just call you once a month? Is that? And she's like, yeah, absolutely. Or even just check in via email. You help, you help a lot of people, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you know, because like people help me along my career. Yeah. And that's how you had to put it out there and say, would you mind if I job shadowed you or just come out and hang out, maybe just, you know, ask you a few questions? Because that's the only way you're going to learn. Is this right for me? Is this wrong for me? Right. Absolutely. You have it. <laughs> <laughs> now, how can people find out more information about you? Yeah, so I am on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that. at Speaker Shinjini. That's S-P-E-A-K-E-R-S-H-I-N-J-I-N-I. Slow down, slow down. Shinjini. <laughs> yes. S-H-I-N-J-I-N-I. Yes. Is that right? Shinjini. Okay. <laughs> yes. And www.shinjini.com. Okay, wonderful. Right. Well, thank you the for joining go us. Go Getter Girl. Yeah, I like that. Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. All right, more to come this morning.